Well, as Coach was saying, this is the first practice debate. So with that, I'd just like to extend thank you to everybody for being here. Of course, to my partner. I'd like to begin my speech today by taking the opportunity to take a step back from all of the arguing that has happened and simply summarizing the essence of the debate, going down to the key issues of the round. Now before I get to my three voting issues that I will be presenting today, I would like to make a few addresses to things that have come up within the past four speeches. First, they're saying that we are becoming part of the experience when it's 3D. However, as my partner has stated, being part of the experience when it's on Pandora does not make it more realistic. Being five years away in space travel is not nearly the same as being a few hour plane flight away in Afghanistan. Realism here is a non-starter for the proposition team. Second, I'd like to speak about um, the technology portion of this. They're saying that we have all this new technology that's coming out with the 3D revolution. All of a sudden, things have dimensions when I'm watching it on TV. And they're trying to compare this to the Apollo space missions, where we were able to land on the moon, figure out the composition of it, where we were able to get into space to put satellites up so we can use cell phones and computers across the world. Now we have 3D TV where we can sit on our couches and watch a little more TV, but this time I can see where the soccer ball is moving better. Amazing. Now, to go back to monetary issues, they're talking about Avatar being the highest grossing movie of all time. Clarity here, highest grossing in the box office. However, Titanic has grossed more money over this period of time that it has been out. It has been far more economically uh, shown that two-dimensional movies are still valued. Just because three-dimensional exists does not mean that all of a sudden it is better. Just because one movie earned a ton of money doesn't mean that all of a sudden 3D is going to be better, as I will be expanding upon in my points. However, at this point in time, I'd like to yield for one single POI for this speech to John. Um, you, you, I'm going back to a point on realism. You say that the Hurt Locker is more realistic because it's in Afghanistan than Avatar. But I have a question for you. If, at, if The Hurt Locker was filmed in 3D, would it be more realistic? It is arguable that Hurt Locker would have been more realistic in 3D. However, does the realism impact the meaning of the story? Does the realism impact the implications to society of seeing what our soldiers in Afghanistan are being put through? Three dimensions do not change things a whole lot. It's not three times the fun, it's one extra dimension. It's really not a large change. Furthermore, as I will be getting to in my voters, it is hurting culture. Um, and at this point, I'd like to transition to the voting issues that I will be presenting for today's debate. The first voting issue that I have is that we are degrading society by 3D movies because we are undervaluing the writing. The entertainment in a 3D movie is in the visuals. You go there so that you can see the beautiful world of Pandora and Avatar. However, when you go to a two-dimensional movie, you go for an actual plotline, for a story, for something that stimulates your brain by means of thought rather than by means of pure visions. So we are promoting thought. We are promoting originality. All of a sudden, we are no longer just looking at pretty colors. We are now looking at actual thought processes, and we are developing our ability to think critically of society as Hurt Locker had us do. It had us look at the war in Afghanistan. Pandora had us look at how some civilian army was treating natives on a planet that's a few light years away. This really does not mean anything to society. It does not have any impact to culture, which as my partner and I have stated throughout this debate, will be very important when I get to weighing out this round. Now, my second voting issue is that of on money. As far as monetary means go, yes, there is some money behind 3D technology. However, for the decades that it has existed, 2D movies have grossed far more. Every single year that 3D technology has been around, there have been higher grossing movies that are two-dimensional. Money doesn't matter to this debate. Now, the third and final issue that I would like to talk about 
is weighing this up, creating a scoreboard for you, seeing what actually happens. We'll concede they've got some cool technology that makes me be able to see things in three dimensions. However, we are supporting culture and thought. We are supporting more money earnings. We are supporting the art that is film. So on our judging criteria of the impact to culture and the weight of the circumstances provided, the opposition team has clearly won today's debate. Once again, thank you to everyone. When I look at both cases presented by both teams today, I look at the proposition team that focuses on 3D, and then I look at the opposition team that focuses on Avatar. So let me make this clear and simple, clean cut. We are debating 3D versus 2D. We don't care if they think Avatar sucks. What we <laughs> care about is 3D versus 2D. If I give you a review of their speeches, I'd give you 14, 20 minutes of Avatar sucks. Blue people are horrible. What do we care about Pandora? We're not focusing on the storyline. Can we please get back to the simple issue of 3D versus 2D? Sure, Avatar is bad. Whatever. I don't care. What I care about is that more people went to see it because it was 3D. What I care about is that it got 3D awards. I don't care that it lost because of the storyline. If it lost because of the 3D, then that's a point. But it lost because of the storyline. Sure, maybe it's not realistic. We're not saying Avatar is realistic. We're saying 3D is realistic. If they can't, if they can't agree and say that an arrow whizzing by your head is more realistic than no arrow whizzing by your head at all, then I don't understand them at all. They say, you know, Pandora has no impact to culture. We know that. Like, we're not stupid enough. But, <laughs> but we know that 3D has impact to culture because 3D is an art itself. We're not focusing on Avatar itself. We're focusing on the 3D aspect. We thought that the opposition team could be a little more competent with their argumentation. But today with my first contention, I'm going to go with refu case refutation with my first rebuttal voting issue. Let's look at this judge. As the, as the proposition team, we give a case. And then the opposition team needs to refute that in their first speech. It's necessary. Why? Because if they don't, and we can't respond to it in our second speech, then they've got two speeches in a row where they attack our, our arguments and we have nowhere to re refute them. Right? So it is vital that they do it in their, in their first speech. But somehow they decided they would, they would like to give our entire five contentions 30 seconds. In doing that, they dropped three of our contentions. Now we do agree that they they did um, they did support these later on in their speeches, but judge, you need to vote on this. Not only did they drop our, our contentions, but we see that the attitude that the, prop, the opposition team has is of an arrogant don't care about the proposition team's case. They don't care about our cases, they don't care about our arguments, they don't even like to acknowledge that they have any value to them. This judge is one reason why you should not vote for them, besides the fact that you completely dropped our arguments. I'd like to take your voter. You're being equally as rude to us by giving our points the same amount of time in your second proposition case. I feel that this point is being way overblown in this speech. Well, it is not actually, because in every single case we've given, in every speech we've given, we've gone over your points. Obviously, we're going to give more time to our points, but giving 30 seconds to our points, that's not overblown. I'm not overblowing anything here. Our second voter is that 3D does everything 2D does. I'd like, I mean, I'd love to have someone raise their hand and tell me something that 2D does better than 3D. No. <laughs> so here, so here is, here's what their case is. Here, here's the proposition team's case. Avatar was a 3D movie. And, um, you know, Avatar uh, didn't have a great storyline. So all 3D movies have horrible storylines. This is their entire case. Their entire case is set on this. Avatar was a 3D movie. Avatar storyline sucked. Thus, all 3D movies have sucky storylines. No. So, so if we follow their chain, if we follow the internal link, it is completely flawed. It's completely wrong. Their entire case rests on the fact that 3D movies are, should not be valued because they're not as good. So if I made a 3D movie that had a great storyline, they're still going to argue that it's bad because it's a bad storyline. I don't understand their entire case, which is my third voter. That the proposition team focused on 3D versus 2D. We focused on 3D versus 2D. They focused on Avatar versus Hurt Locker. Judge, even if you think that Avatar is a worse movie than Hurt Locker, you still can't vote for them. They didn't prove that 2D is better than 3D. We proved it. We proved that flying arrows by your head, soccer balls that you realize, things that are happening to you, awareness, stimulation, advancements in technology, these are all concrete examples. But Avatar vs. Heartblocker is not concrete at all. You can't vote for them because they didn't even debate 3D vs. 2D. Furthermore, their entire case rested on Avatar was bad, Avatar was 3D, so all, the, all 3D movies are bad. That syllogism is flawed. If that syllogism is flawed, their entire case is flawed. 
Their entire case falls down. Their case refutation to our case falls down. They didn't even debate on topic, and they, and they failed to refute three of five of our contentions. Today, I see a very clear scoreboard. I see a scoreboard that votes for the proposition on refutation. We refuted their points. On, on topic, we were on topic. We, we have more benefits to society. What is, is awareness beneficial to society? Yes. Is cheap gambling over oh, Avatar versus Hurt Locker beneficial to society winning? No, obviously not. So because we tie our links back to people, because we tie our links back to topical definitions, and because our case is much more stronger and better throughout this entire debate, we ask for the vote in the proposition team. Thank you. Sorry. Your favorite 3D movie with a good storyline? Um, Avatar. <laughs>